Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I hope you had an enjoyable and a bountiful Thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, sitting right here today, as I was thinking about going live with you, I was thinking how grateful I am, not only for being, being present, but for you. So today we're going to be talking about how to let go, let go of anxieties, how to let go of fears, and how to let go of limiting beliefs. Which brings me to, first and foremost, I'd like to share and say that I am offering a workshop, a three-hour workshop in about two weeks. It is for you to let go and break through 2020, 2021, and unleash the best version of you, letting go of all that self-sabotaging beliefs and everything, literally, for the last two years that we have felt overwhelmed with and afraid of what if i can help you with some tools and techniques to shift literally shift a uh, an energy a shift of thought a shift of a mindset for you to unleash unleash more joy lightness feeling good and the best version of you and you know what that might be a cliche but it is not so what is the best version of you and what you will receive in this workshop in two weeks if you are interested just say ready to unleash that's it just below just type i'm ready just ready to unleash and I will send you information. I will make sure that you get all the information for you to register. And you know what? Releasing, breaking through of fears. And it could be not only a real fear, but fears that you create. Just like a client of mine who came in here for anxiety, not wanting to drive, actually feeling as if she cannot drive she cocooned herself and that's what she said she said uh, i literally just present myself at home because i was afraid to drive and i don't know where it comes from so today after a few sessions she is driving she is proud of herself the one thing she said is what makes the difference she said i never realized that when I spoke about being afraid of driving, I was constantly talking about being afraid. And I didn't think about the joys of driving, how I used to drive and go to places. And it, those were the things that I used to say, I wish I could. Until through the sessions, I realized I can I can move forward. I can sit in the car. I can do this. And it's okay to go one extra block. So today she said, through the sessions and through your audio recording, something clicked. And what clicked is I have inner peace that I am safe in my car. And that is one thing that has been going on for the last few weeks and now she's able to drive so why am i saying this because you will learn same tools and techniques at my workshop as a matter of fact in this workshop to unleash the best version of you what we are also going to do is a at the end of my three hour workshop do a hypnosis session so if there is any limiting beliefs that you may have, fears that you may be holding on to, blocks, uh, or anything that you feel has created this block or burden or something on you, we're going to help you release them. First, we're going to help you what? That's right. We're going to evoke it. That means you're going to think about it, uh, shed a light, 
recognize it, see it, acknowledge it, so that you can embrace and say, ah, okay, this is where I am today. Not good, not bad, not right, not wrong. It just is. So what do I do from here on? Because sometimes others put a dim on your light and you don't realize it. That's right. And sometimes we ourselves dim our own light to make someone else shine. And we don't realize what we are doing to ourselves everything so that you can evolve to what you want the end of the year is here the end of so many things is here it's time for a closure it's time for a closure with kindness it is time for a closure for yourself so do you have you felt overwhelmed in the past year or two have you had any kind of a fear just creep in and even the word creep in and you think about the word creep and it's like how creepy is that so word association has a lot to do with it and we're going to learn about that one as well you know every week i come live and i speak about this it's different speaking and for you to listen here than when we do this virtual workshop yeah, you can be right here, virtual with everybody else with a small little investment. It's even smaller than having one session with me. And we're going to be together for three hours. And that's going to be the best part. Not only I'm going to help you recognize and see certain behaviors and patterns and the things that you possibly have done without realizing because your subconscious mind is the most powerful part of your mind it's where it embeds all habits behaviors and patterns and you do it over and over without recognizing what you're doing hmm. and then it becomes this auto state it becomes so automatic right but it is breaking through that and recognizing I'm in this relationship because I'm doing this habit because I'm doing this why it's understanding the why is not as important as recognizing it once you know it once you acknowledge it you can move forward so to be a success in anything to break through those fears you have to understand why did you pick up on that fear what's creating that fear factor inside you is it something that you feel it is it real or it feels real two different things is it reality or does it feel real and if it is a feeling or if it is a thought what can you do with that that you can shift it and instead of creating this panic and anxiety inside you it shifts it that means what you can do to let it go or have a better what control a handle on it so there's going to be so much that i'm bringing value for you and we're going to break it down and the first hour is going to educate you for you to do this like a mini workshop write certain things and questions at, that I may have and for you to ponder within and if you want to share you will share it if not then you it becomes like your own thing ah I never realized that this is what shifted my perception or this is when it happened or you may know but not understand the feeling attached to it so we're going to do that and then uh, we're going to go delve deeper into the subconscious mind and educate you more about that so that you can literally instantly easily and effortlessly make a shift 
of a habit or a pattern right there uh, in that day. You know, your mind is so powerful. It is. You, yourself, are the most magical thing that there is. Unique, magical. So whatever it is that you created, you can also let go. Whatever has given you this anxiety, you can release. If you had any self-doubt, is recognizing what part of you do you doubt? Not every aspect of who you are, right? So, when we say, this is what I want in my life, is truly knowing what do you want? What do you want to create? If you want to drop weight, why drop weight? Why not lose weight? We've talked, I've talked about all this, but it's significant that when you close your eyes and you imagine and you say, I can't see anything because I'm in such a dark tunnel. All my thoughts are so negative. I'm going to help you shift. And here's something just for today. How did tunnels get built? That's right. Tunnels that cars drive through. How do those get built? Well, someone thinks of there is a road. We need to connect this road to that one. And what would connect? It's a tunnel. So in order for that to be built, we need someone who builds tunnels. Then we need the engineer. Then we need the permits and write everything. Then we need to go somewhere that creates these tunnels. That means the place that the cement does all the work and they create those cylinders, right? So once the, that is done, then the contractor with the city or whoever, the urban, or even your thoughts, they come and say, in order for me to connect this thought to that one, I need cylinders. I need cylinders, like a boomerang. So it connects one to another, one to another, one to another. And then sometimes you think, I'm in such a dark tunnel, I can't get out. And then you even say the words, there must be light at the end of the tunnel, but I can't see it. But you know what? Just think of it. That tunnel of your thoughts, of where you feel you are stuck at. It was built with different cylinders that were connected to another. One cylinder and then cemented together and then one another, 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 that it became either a short tunnel or a very long tunnel. But no matter what, first and foremost, it was created for you to drive through to uh, go through so that you can go to the other side to the sunny side to the enjoyable city to the other side of your thoughts secondly those tunnels were created to protect the car to protect you in a way from all the pebbles and the rocks and everything that may be coming down and it's not hitting the car, it's not hitting you, it's not hitting your emotions. So somewhere, somehow, the thoughts that you think you are just going into this negative realm of boomerang may have been created so you can get stuck in here in order to avoid something else. The pebbles, the rocks, something neg more negative. Those are just thoughts and ideas for you to understand this workshop coming up, how powerful this can be so you can recognize your own patterns, your own behaviors and certain habits. So today I'm going to ask you to say yes to you. Let us peel away. Let us unleash. Hmm? All things that has blocked you, created this place of darkness, a tunnel, 
or even feeling stuck and fearful so we can have a better 2022 you can breathe you can feel lighter you can feel happier joyful and just like my clients say I have inner peace and because I have inner peace that I didn't realize I can shift my thoughts you can too so today just like any other day the date is 11 30 wow I just realized that it's the end of this month tomorrow is another day every single day tomorrow is another day so today you can make a decision for you to leave to stay to get stuck or unravel peel away to hold on to or to let go no matter which you choose it's the right choice but when you know why you're keeping it why you're doing it that is the key and I want you to have the key actually it's always been with you you've had it in your pocket is to recognize which keys to use when that's it I always talk about um, the self-worth is at the core of who we are self pride is the number one thing that give us a sense of I'm proud of myself a lot of people can be proud of yourself a, a lot of people can award you reward you give you everything but when you feel proud of yourself and you say yes I did it yes I did it there's nothing more powerful than that Hi Seda John, how are you? It is so good to see you here. And every week you come live. And I am grateful, thankful, not only to you, but all my viewers. You know, hypnosis came into my life at the right time. When I did hypnotherapy and I healed myself and going from being an assistant to an attorney and doing paralegal work to the work that I have been doing now for the last 22 years, I think I know one or two things about the power that we have within us in mind, in body and the connection, the power of our subconscious and what we can achieve yesterday I had another root canal my god I've been having a lot of teeth work done right so as I was doing the root canal and he's drilling and I'm there he had music playing my I, I just I adore my endodontist and if you are anywhere in the LA area you want a great endodontist please by all means text me message me and I will give you the best of the best one of the best so and you know I'm laying there and he had music playing and it was not a calm music or something like that it was Spanish it was like a tango Spanish tango and so he's doing his work and I'm doing this with my fingers like that so after the procedure he says what was this and I said oh I I was moving my fingers he says yeah and I said I was in such deep concentration he says you concentrate and I said actually I wasn't even concentrating I was dancing I was literally dancing with three different people I was tangoing and I was going from one to another <clears throat> he says my gosh you have vivid imagination and I said yes I do so in order for me to bypass what's happening here I shift and instead of something negative I utilized what I have my imagination the music and knowing because I have tangoed before just putting myself on a beautiful dance floor lots of people that are tangoing and here's me as if taking a lesson and being going from one 
partner to another entangling. Pure essence of pleasure, pure joy, movement, everything in my imagination. And I can also teach you how to do that. That's hypnosis, guided visualization, the power of using, tapping within your own mind and affecting your body, every cell, every organ, every tissue that feels joyful versus hurtful. Feels dancing versus in pain. So, and I came into my, you came into my life at the right time, and I am eternally grateful. Oh, thank you so much, Adrian. <laughs> you know, I think there are no mistakes in life. Truly. With all our experiences, relationships, pains, and joys, there are no mistakes. Um, it's not an accident. Some are not by choice, but we do have a choice w with what we want to do with it. So, as always, remember, history is for you to think about it, remember it, learn from it, not live in it. You live today. Be present. And know that you are the most magical and unique thing present within you. And be grateful to this incredible body of yours, mind of yours, and yes, your thoughts and feelings. With that, I want to thank you. And remember, just say, yes, ready to unleash or unleash anything and we will get back to you and let you know when the workshop is actually the workshop is december 12th so look for it you will see a lot of posts until next week i truly want the blessings of this thanksgiving hanukkah for all of you who are celebrating hanukkah for all of you celebrating this season and as we enter into a new day, a new hour, a new beginning, ready to unleash the best version of you. Thank you for being present. This is Lisa. I'll see you next week. Until then, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here.